appear the players, the student athletes will be joining us uh, from Kentucky, Oscar Sheebway, Keon Brooks Jr., and Kellen Grady. Those will be the three players joining us representing the University of Kentucky. We're joined now by head coach of the University of Kentucky, John Calipari, and again, Oscar Sheebway, Keon Brooks, as well as Kellen Grady. We'll take questions for the student athletes first. Again, if you have a question, uh, please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Uh, give us your name and affiliation uh, for transcription purposes. But let's start with an opening comment from Coach Calipari. Um, sad day, not just we lose a game, it's that this season ended with this group and how much joy they brought to me and our staff. And, and I'll just say one thing, you have an eight-point lead, and I'm a guy that's been through a lot of these. You have an eight-point lead with three minutes to go, you win the game. So I really don't need to know, well, this guy did that and that guy did this and missed this and this and turned. We had an eight-point lead with three-some to go. I'm not taken away from St. Peter's. They deserve to win the game. They fought the entire time. But that's how I feel about it. That, you know, they, these guys put us in a position to win the game. Let's finish it off. With that, let's take questions for the student athletes. Please raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Let's go right over here. Name and affiliation, please. Kyle Tucker, The Athletic. This is for any or all of you guys. Obviously, at one point during the season, you guys were hitting on all cylinders and looked like kind of the team to beat. It's not been quite the same for a couple of weeks. I wonder if any of you have an idea of, of just sort of what has gone wrong these last couple of weeks. I think that's difficult uh, to reflect on right now. Um, I mean, the simplest answer is just some of the things we were doing at a high level for a large part of the season. Uh, we weren't doing as efficiently and as well. Um, and, and I think we, the biggest thing is we, we got away from we got away from guarding the way we were guarding at a, at a high level. Um, and that, like Coach said, you know, there were pivotal opportunities to get stops down the stretch, and uh, we failed and to do that. And that's why we lost the game. So, Let's go to Mark. This is for Oscar uh, Mark Canizaro from the New York Post. Um, right at the very end, you were kind of doubled over, pretty emotional. Can you just speak to what your emotions were at that moment, what, we, what you were thinking, and how difficult that moment was? Um, they were trying to double me, but I would just stay locked and focused because I know this game was not going to be easy. Um, so my teammates, we just got to stay focused. They're going to try to play, especially me in the post, they're going to try to double me. But I think we fight. I think um, we would just we just miss a couple shots in our defense. We struggled a little bit, but thank you. Uh, we did. We give our best. That's what I think I'm gonna say. Get a microphone to Jerry down here. First question. Jerry Tipton, Lexington Herald Leader. Kellen, you you struggled again shooting. What what do you think? Why do you think that happened the way it did down the stretch and? How much do you think, you know, it would have helped if you were yourself? I mean, I, I, if I bang a couple and, and I was myself the last couple games, we probably would have won them. I don't, you know, I'm not trying to escape that accountability. Uh, I shot like crap again tonight, so it's unfortunate. If I if I could pinpoint it exactly, I wouldn't have shot like crap. So, uh, you know. I feel this is such a close group, and, and we've gone through a lot this year, and uh, we've accomplished a lot. And today would have been it would have been good for us to get a win. And um, you know, I, I feel bad that I couldn't help in, in better fashion to, to help us win, but uh, it is what it is. I mean, with, with that being said, Kellen does so much for us. Beyond him just shooting the ball, like, that's, we have a lot of guys that can make shots, and, and none of us really made shots, so I don't think that's something that you can put on him. 
Um, he works extremely hard every single day. Like, it's just, just tonight they, they didn't go, but even beyond him and, and, and the rest of us not making shots, there was just some plays that we, that we didn't make that, that cost us the game. Even if none of us made any shots, there were still plays that defensively or just execution wise that we that we weren't great on that, that cost us. Next question with student athletes right here. John Allen Courage, Arnold Keon, you've been through as much as anybody in a three year career with all the weird stuff that's happened the last few years. Just what are your kind of big picture thoughts on what this season meant and, and if the ending changes how you look at it at all? Uh, the ending doesn't change how I look at these guys at all. Um, I love every single one of them. I love the, the progress and the progression that we made throughout the whole year, how we came together, how we got better as a team, how guys got better individually. Um, I, I, I love and enjoy being around the staff at really good and great times. Um, my tenure, tenure here has been a little funky and difficult, a little different, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, coming here, I've learned a lot beyond being a basketball player, but, you know, Coach Cal has, has done a great job of shaping me into a, a better man. And with that being said, like, I don't, I don't regret anything that I've been through as long as I've been here. Next question for the student athletes. Got time for one or two more. Right to the back. Go ahead. Yeah, Daryl Burr from the Cats Paws in Lexington. Oscar, I apologize for asking this now, but I'm not sure when we may see you guys again. Have you made a decision on coming back next year or what that process might look like? I don't know yet. Um, I don't know. That's the decision. We're going to, I'm going to talk with Coach. So I don't know yet. One more for the student athletes. If not, got, uh, let's go back to Kyle. Last one for the student athletes. Uh, Kyle Tucker, the Athletic. Uh, Oscar, I just you you've kind of poured your heart into this season. I just wonder, just what are you feeling that it's over, that it ha happened kind of suddenly like this? Um, it is sad because I've been wanting this moment for a long time. Um, I'm a junior. This is my two years in college. This is my first match minus, and. Um, I even told my teammates, this is not going to be easy for us. If we don't, we're not willing to fight. Any team in match minus, they, they make it for a reason. So we got to be locked in. We got to be ready to go. So um, I think everybody tried. They did the best they could. Um, I did the best I could. It just it just happened sometimes like that. But like, um, one thing I'm going to say, we're just going to stay together, um, just trust the process. Uh, losing and winning is part of the game, and um, um, I don't know. We just to stay together. Guys, we'll dismiss you to locker up this time. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Have a safe trip home. Thanks, guys. Go ahead and with questions uh, for Coach Calipari. Let's get a microphone to Jerry, then we'll go to Kent after that. Jerry, go ahead. Yeah, John. This isn't the first game where down the stretch of a possession by possession game, it didn't go as well as you wanted. Is there a link there, or what, why do you think that was a problem area? Um, you know, um, I, I think, again, my whole thing this week, because I knew they had never played in this stuff, was to get them free and loose, and, and, and we never got to that, never. And. You know, even in timeouts, I was trying to do that. And, but um, we made up eight. We, you know, we just didn't do the things we normally had done. But I come back to when you're up eight with three minutes to go, you figure out how to win a game. That's your job as a coach. Um, you know, we, we had some guys that had not played the way they'd been playing. And, you know, you look back and say, could we have put, Bryce in, could we have put Damien in? Just try something. And, uh, but the game was, I mean, it was a touch and go game. And then it's not fair for those kids to be put in that position and do something that hurts our season. But, um, you know, hindsight when you're coaching, 
could have done this, could have done that. At the end of the day, you know, I've been in these situations and you know, the hard thing is because we, the thing I talked about, we got injured and we never kind of went back. So I may have been trying to coach a team that I coached a month ago. And we had some guys that weren't playing like they were a month ago. And, um, but I, I come back to this was, this was an unbelievable group. Just picked a bad day to not make a shot. And, you know, we're trying to throw it to Oscar every time. That's how we played. I mean, he's, <laughs> you know, just, okay, come down and throw it to Oscar. You know, and uh, um, I feel bad for the guys because, I mean, they're taking it hard. They know you guys ask Kellen a question that's, you know, tough for these kids. They know they, what they did and how they did it. And, but I also say, I'm going to say this again, an eight-point lead with three minutes to go. Let's go. Let's win this thing. And, you know, a couple errors to make the game close. You know, you, you, they went zone, couldn't get them to throw the ball to the middle. I mean, we hadn't had that issue against any zone we played, but we did today. So give St. Peter's credit. Let's go to Ken's, tele or Ken's question next. Kent, go ahead, right, right behind you. There you go. Ken Spencer, WHAS 11. You, you mentioned, John, that you, you're trying to get these guys to play free, but down the stretch when you guys were up eight and then St. Peter started mounting that comeback, could you sense that nerves were a real factor with It was the guys? whole game, one that just then. It was the whole game. I mean, I took guys out because they wouldn't shoot the ball. I did that about three times. If you don't shoot it, I'm taking you out. And they wouldn't shoot them, and I had to take them out. I had to do that three times. I said, I don't care if you make it, understand that Oscar's under the basket. And if you miss it, he'll get it. But if you drive into nine guys and you, you throw something where he's got four guys on him, it's hard. So, but again, I, you know, this was uh, probably something they've never felt in their lives. And that's why I wish I had some answers with three minutes to go to help them through it to get by the first one. But I'll tell you what, we missed shots and St. Peter's made shots. They made threes, they made layups, we missed. They made free throws, we missed. And, and it's one of those games. But I was hoping I could get them by it to get on to the next game to get their feet underneath them. And obviously I didn't do a very good job with it. Go right in front of Ken to the Courier Journal here. Go ahead. Cal, you talk about what ifs. For a lot of people, one of those will be Shaden and why he didn't play. Was there ever a point in this year, even after you made that decision, where he looked ready to contribute, or was it clear that he couldn't have helped you even if he wanted to play? Um, there were, at one point, he and I sat down and talked about it. Um, but, you know, um, I think that was what was best for him is how we did it. Um, would he have been a good player this year? Yeah, he'd have been pretty good. He'd have been pretty good. But um, he joined us at midseason. Trying to get him up to all the stuff that we were doing was hard. And then it came a point late, maybe we could shove him in there. But. We just, uh, you know, together chose, let, let's just wait. Let's go back left corner over here. John, this is Andrew Chernoff with WLKY. Oscar put up incredible numbers again tonight. You've talked about what he's meant to the team, but have you had a chance to even in the last few minutes reflect on what he accomplished on the court and what he meant to your group this year? You know, I haven't. I just saw 30 and 16. And they had five guys playing him, and um, he's done something that hadn't been done in a long time. And he made everybody better. Now, you may not believe this, but we led our league in three-point shooting. A lot of that opened up the court for him. But when you're not making any shots, it makes it even tougher for him. But I'm, you just heard him. 
I mean, so thoughtful and such a great kid. And he and I will sit down in the next day or two to f figure out what path, you know, is for him. Um, but I'll tell you this, you talk about a pleasure to coach. Psh, this whole team, I mean, like I'm sick right now for them and just disappointed that, you know, I wish I had an answer or two. I, I just do. And, you know, it's just hindsight. You can't you can play that game all you want. Um, but give St. Peter's credit. And I watched the tapes. Let me tell you, I was worried going into the game. Now, I wasn't showing anybody. I was whistling and skipping and dancing and we can't wait. And But I'm like, whew. They rebound. I mean, they rebounded with us. Now, Oscar had his, but they rebounded. Everybody else for them rebounded. And, um, you know, some things happened that, like they said, we're, we're a good defensive team. We weren't. And let's give them credit. Backdoored us to death and beat us on the bounce and made threes coming off screens. And they played well. Shaheen's done a great job. I told him prior to the game, the job you've done with this team and what I've seen, how they play, their structure. He, he's done a great job. Let's do a couple more. Let's go to Kyle over here. Kyle Tucker with The Athletic. Uh, Kyle, you mentioned kind of the maybe nerves, the shell shock that was going on with some of those guys that hadn't been in this moment. As, as the minutes kept going and St. Peter's kept coming, was there some of that shell shock on the sideline, I didn't, hear, with the, I with didn't the, hear what you were saying. Just with the co with the coaching staff, did you guys? As it got tight at the end, and you could see in these guys' eyes that they they were nervous. They were whatever we were, it was. We going were on. in every timeout trying to encourage. You're going to be fine. We just got to make a play. I mean, we were, you know, at one point with five minutes to go, one of the guys got on. The guy said, "Stop. There's five minutes. Just be positive. <laughs> just leave it alone. Just be positive." Um, and so we were trying to help them get through it. And obviously didn't do the kind of job we needed to. Jerry, you get the last one. John, this may be far-fetched, but I wonder if uh, St. Peter's reminds you of maybe some of your UMass teams in terms of going after it and we may be the underdog, but we're taking it to you, that sort of stuff. They do. They do, undersized, but fought, uh, athletic enough to play bigger guys and played the way I played and coached at UMass, which was a little slower. We grinded out a little bit more. Um, tried to have five guys in double figures, you know, and, and uh, some of my team shot the ball pretty well, Carmelo and some of the guys that were really good shooters. So um, just disappointed. I'm disappointed for our fans because I know they're here in mass and that they were shell-shocked like we all were. Um, but I would tell them we got the greatest fans that they travel and we hate letting them down. I do as a coach and I know these players do. Um, but, you know, we just don't take away from what these kids did. You know, it's, this was really disappointing, devastating, but this team brought a lot of joy to a lot of us. Just hate that it ends this way. Thanks. John, thanks for your time on a tough night. Folks, we'll come back again after midnight to the conclusion of the San Francisco-Murray State game. Thank you.